Hey guys, welcome back to Home Built, and today we are gonna tidy up these wheels on John Lemon. All right, so as you can see, John Lemon is starting to come together, but one of the things that's really letting it down now is these wheels, and um, some of you have been suggesting we go with Fuchs type wheels or something like that, similar to what I've got on the 911. It's not really the thing I'm going for with this. I, I don't really think the sporty look is uh, worthwhile on a car that's not sporty. Um, if you, if I was going to do the engine up, like uh, and uh, and actually have some power in it, then you know a sports steering wheel and sports wheels and stuff work. But uh, on this thing, it's just a um, uh, a bit of a weekend cruiser. So um, I want to make these things look a little bit nicer, and I'm going to color code them to the beat blue. But the first thing I need to do is get them off the car and uh, get the tires off so that I can paint them. All the wheels are loaded up, ready to go. I'm gonna take them down to the tire shop, get the tires taken off of the rims, so then I can bring back the rims, tidy them up, and give them a paint. Let's get into it. Okay, so I've dropped the wheels off down at the tire shop. They're taking them off the rims now, so while I'm waiting for that, I've come back, and uh, I'm going to uh, disassemble this Speedo now and see if I can start tidying it up, because it's just, it's just a bit grimy and old. Um, it just needs a little bit of a refresh. I'm not going to crazy on it, I'm just going to um, give it a freshen. All right, that was epic, getting the uh, the face off of that dash there. Um, I watched a video with Chris Vallone, who's the um, the Beetle uh, Whisperer. He's, uh, if you haven't seen his channel, check it out. Um, he's, uh, he's the man with uh, Beetle Restorations. And um, yeah, he just sort of got under these, uh, these edges and just sort of flipped it up and it just sort of popped straight off. Mine did not pop straight off. I had to work all the way around the edge and um, yeah, it sort of, it's, it looks a little bit ugly. I'm gonna to have to crimp it back on again. It isn't seen though. It's only this front face that you can actually see um, sticking out of the dash. So I'm not overly concerned, but it's just, it's not as pretty as I would have hoped. In any case, um, now I've got it apart. I've got to uh, tidy things up. One of the things I have to tackle is um, these gels. That's the, the Speedo clicker and it's you can see it's just all completely perished in there i'm just going to replace it with just a uh, just a piece of uh, green plastic because that's what i've got and i didn't uh, order a new one of these so i'm going to clean it all up clean up the glass just uh, blow off the faces make sure it's all nice and clean and tidy um and uh, put it back together and hopefully it's a little bit neater and tidier than what it was I've got myself a piece of my clear plastic and I've just, I've just colored it with a green texture. It's not gonna last that long, but it'll last until I get a, uh, order a new one. Um, I'd say it's probably gonna fade pretty quickly, but at least it doesn't have a big hole in it. It's gonna look much better than what the, uh, the one that was in there did. So I'm gonna trim this up now, fit it inside uh, the little gel panel here and um, put this speedo back together. I've gone through, I've cleaned the glass, I've uh, given the uh, outside edge a bit of a sand with a, some uh, 1500 grit sandpaper and a bit of a polish. So um, it's all looking nice and shiny and clean now. So it's a, just a matter of getting everything immaculately clean, putting this gel in and then reassembling the Speedo and we should have a nice, new, clean, fresh looking Speedo. All right, 
and there is a nice shiny uh, Speedo. It's uh, not perfect, but it's uh, nicely freshened up. It's a lot better than it was. And um, it's time to go and put it back in the car and see if I can get those wheels. So I've got all the tyres taken off of these rims and it's actually interesting looking at these. Uh, a couple of them are pretty beaten up, I'm going to have to do a little bit of work. This particular rim sits, is quite a bit wider than the others, um, you know, it's quite noticeable uh, the size difference. But this is also the one, it, it looks the newest inside but it's got the biggest ding in it so this is going to be my spare. It's still held air so I'm still going to keep it and I'm going to try and panel beat it a bit. Um, but uh, first thing is to get them all up and wire wheel all of them and make them look as nice and, uh, and clean as I can, get as much paint and rust and junk off of them as I can. And um, yeah, then we'll uh, have a look at uh, where we go from there. All right, I've done three. My hands are throbbing from the vibration, so I'm going to uh, give a, give myself a break. Come back to these two wheels, and uh, for starters, now I'm going to get in and I'm going to start uh, getting the hammer and dolly out, and I'm going to try and uh, just get some of these dents out of these wheels because a couple of them are a bit beaten up. So let's just make them a little bit prettier, a little bit straighter. They're never going to be perfect, but um, they all hold air, so I'm not too worried. I just want them to look a bit nicer. That's messy work, but um, they're tidied up, they're wire wheel back, they're ready to um, start cleaning up, and then I can get some paint on these things. So um, I'll blow them out. Uh, yeah, bit of prep salt, should be good. Okay. The wheels are all cleaned up in there and uh, now I'm going to go over them all. I'm just, I'm going to paint them all in one, uh, one session. So I'm going to go wet on wet. And um, what that means is basically I've got uh, this uh, 2K epoxy primer. I'm going to lay a coat or so down of that just to get a, so something will bond onto the metal and also uh, protect the metal a bit. And then I'm going to go straight over that with the 2K color. So um, first things first is I'm going to mix up some of the primer. We'll get that on and um, get the ball rolling. So I've been in there already, the primer is on. I have just mixed up uh, some more of my beet blue. So time to get that on there and um, hopefully we'll have some really nice, clean looking wheels. What I'm going through and doing now is while I'm waiting for the paint set, I'm going around and you can see here, I actually put a little scratch on the car uh, when I was assembling it. And there's a couple of little spots that I just want to do a little bit of paint correction. So while I've got some paint mixed up, I'm going to take a fine brush and just with a little bit of the paint, just add the paint into 
the damaged areas. Like that. And then what I can do is, um, I'll probably put a couple of coats on that and then I can come back at a later stage and cut that and buff it and um, fix up any of these uh, little problem areas. All right, and we have some finished wheels. And they're actually looking really nice. Definitely a lot nicer than they did before. Okay, so with the wheels done, uh, they're looking good. I'm gonna have to leave them for a few days. I will put them on before next week. I'll get the, um, the wheels put on because the Beetle is sitting in my driveway up on uh, jack stands and um, I can't get around it. So I really wanna get that uh, done. So I might film it, I might not, but uh, you'll see the results next week. And of course the, um, the finishing touch to go with these wheels, of course, is white wall tires. And I've looked into it, buying white wall tires is very expensive and because uh, they don't sell many of them. And um, you can get it done, you can get it uh, ground into it. I actually looked at doing it myself. The thing is, is that with the paint, the paint does yellow after a little while and, um, and they sort of, they don't look as nice. Um, I did some further research and uh, what I came up with is um, these things. So some of you might not like them. Um, I've heard that they can be difficult to put on sometimes. Um, there are better brands and worse brands. Apparently, um, from what I my research, this Atlas brand is the better one. Um, in any case, these basically, uh, when you put the tires back on, these clip under the uh, the tire in with the bead of the tire, and um, and they're actually a rubber piece that sticks on, clips on with the tire, and um, you get white walls. We'll, um, I'll let you know uh, how they fare anyway, but this is the way I'm doing it for now, and we'll see, um, see how they go. So um, in any case, that's definitely all the time I have for today, so um, that means it's time for Fun Facts with Mrs. Jeff. Hey guys, in 1967, the 250,000th Australian Volkswagen was sold and it went largely unnoticed. The locally designed country buggy also began its production that year. It used a beetle floor pan with a 1300cc engine and a simple press folded open top body. It was designed to be amphibious but that didn't eventuate. Volkswagen Australia recorded another loss of 2.6 million dollars and an auditing team from Germany was sent out to try to stem the flow of loss they realised that the amount of money spent on the factory in trying to keep up with the 95% uh, concessions of the locally made products was not economical. They realised they couldn't keep up with the improvements of the vehicle coming from Germany, so they decided to cut back on the Aussie manufacturing and revert back to importing the complete knockdowns from Germany. Another week down, it's coming together nicely. I'm uh, quite happy with how the wheels look and uh, I just have to let them set up for a couple of days and hopefully those uh, white walls go on nicely. But um, yeah, Beetle is, is getting close. It's really, it's close to uh, being done, which would be great. Exciting times. It would be so nice to actually finish a project. <laughs> yeah, <hey. laughs> you talk about it, but it's never happened yet, so we'll see. Yeah, well, that's it. That's true. <laughs> Fingers crossed. All right, guys. All right, um, if you like enjoy watching please like and subscribe and you can follow us on facebook and instagram and we've got the merchandise for sale if you'd like to help out the channel we really appreciate it as always yeah clicking that uh, subscribe button really helps so um all right guys till next week say open body top floor press metal <laughs> open folded body open simple <laughs> it's not difficult. open top <laughs> it's folded. Open top one. I'm really tired. This is quite mean.